say some really crazy stuff. <clears throat> you start paying attention. This has never been talked about. I've written some articles on it. But there's a difference between hard structure and hard cover. And that's a, a physical place where fish, you know, have a, a, a structure or a, something hard, you know, tangible that they can actually eat against. And that's known. That's how we fish. You know, you fish against the cover and structure, you're, you're going to catch a fish. The structure and the cover, when the sun hits it, produces its own shadow lines. Their soft structure, which is the contour of the mountain, which behind us, you're going to start seeing the sun come across this water. And that soft structure, it'll actually make the same shape of the mountain behind us. It could be five miles away, it could be two miles away, it could right, be right behind you. And then you got soft cover, which could be trees, outcropping of buildings, you name it. Now the crazy part, which a lot of people don't figure out, I shouldn't even be saying this, but when you watch the sun and the shadow comes across, that shadow is as tangible as cover structure. The fish will eat against that shadow line. And if you can bring your lure into it or out of it, right on that seam, that's no different than fishing a, a log, um, tip of a point, um, edge of a boat dock, it's the same thing. <clears throat> and uh, you have the right baits that you can slow it down and do that at the right time as you follow the shadows. <laughs> you catch, I catch fish on shadow lines on the soft structure in 300 foot of water on the surface just as easy I could catch them right against the bank. So a lot of people don't pay enough attention to what's really going on out there. And, and uh, when you do, and like I said, when you pick up the right baits, you figure out the right techniques to use, you're going to put a lot more fish in the boat. Like I said, there's, there's some baits I wish I could use. These lakes get so pressured sometimes. There we go, cool, right on the shadow edge, dude. If that didn't explain what I just talked about, we're back, we're back trolling and we're keeping up that sun. If you turn around, you're gonna get blown out. The shadow's right on our edge. Ooh, there's a lot. The only problem with this, I'm fishing uphill. Look at the size of this fish. Nice. Fishing uphill, it's gonna get in a tree right there. Oh, it just took me down in the tree. Hold on, I gotta do some serious. I gotta do some serious playing on this one. I got two baits and they're in the tree. This might be a goner. This might be a goner. Oh God, come on, get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. Oh, sometimes you're just good. <laughs> Look at this fish. Oh, nice little chunky bass. I'm telling you, <clears throat> there's so much more going out in the water that people just, they really, they don't pay attention. We're back, I'm back in the boat up so we don't blow the camera out. And I'm fishing the shadow edge. And the shadow edge that goes out to 60, 70 foot of water is just as defined as fishing this brush line beside us. And, and this is what you get for it. You know, these are the moves that, uh, makes the difference of putting fish in the boat and uh, this time he hit the back one you know we have a full full line of colors we've got nine colors on the 2.5 so you're gonna you're, you're gonna definitely find the ones you like that one hit the little silver fish chunky bass but that fish ate right on the seam of the shadow and like I said that's that's really no different than fishing a brush line edge of rocks or you, you know anything so Pay attention, you're gonna catch more fish if you do. That's a gorgeous little fish. I'll catch those all day long, I tell you. Here's how critical it is. There's two strike zones here. There's one on this little cut on this point and you have the second one. This is how close you have to get. You have to get that close to the bank and I'm paralleling that shore. And as I come in, you could actually see the bait come right up to this point right here. 